Okay. So, good evening, everyone. How are you doing? Today, this is the last lesson in Unit 4. And as you know, the main focus of this lesson is writing to describe. In this lesson, you should learn how to approach writing to describe. And this is a really important lesson. And after this lesson, you should be able to manage first one, uh, the first question in your writing paper in a perfect way, right? As you know, first uh, the first question, you should be given a photo and you should describe it, right? So I have three main questions before we start. Please, if you know, let me, uh, the answer, let me know. The first question, when do we write to describe? When do we write to describe? The second question, what is important when we write to describe? What things should you include and why? Again, when you write to describe, what are the main or the most important points that you need to include in your writing or in your description and why? The last question, what style do we use? I mean, should you use formal writing or informal writing? Who can answer the first question? When should you write to describe? To write about the book. To write what? To describe a picture. Like exactly. To describe a scene. And the second situation to describe a story. When you tell a story, you are describing. When you look at the picture and write what, what can you see, you are describing. Right. And the second question, what is, the mo what is important when you write to describe? What things should you include and why? I think you could imagine uh, that you are in the place with your five senses. But exactly. what you see, what you hear, how is the weather, or a test of food, something, and describe it. Perfect, Akron. So, what you should include, your thoughts and your feelings about the place or the people. This is number one. You should reflect your feeling, your thoughts about the place or the people if you are describing uh, people. And also, as you mentioned, we should include detail and senses to make vivid picture. The five senses, what you can see, what you can hear, what you can taste, for example. And no need to write all of them together. You can describe two or two or three of them only. No need to write details about the five senses. Only two or three is fair enough. Finally, which style, yeah, Shabab, should you write to describe? Informal writing or formal writing? I, th I think uh, informal. Exactly, informal writing. Okay? Is it clear, Khalid? Yes. Right. So, also, Think about this. Read this issue up, please. Think about. Please have a look quickly. Read this short paragraph. Right? Okay. So another question, Yeshabab. 
what is a good description? What is a good description? How to provide a good description? Or how can you describe a picture in a perfect way? What are the key points that you need to consider or think about? The first one, be specific. Be specific. The second one, use appropriate adjectives. Number three, use words that to show senses or to cover senses, as I told you, minimum two senses. How to be specific, Ya Khalid? You should use specific words. Don't use generic words. For example, I can see some fruits. Is it a specific or generic word? Imagine I show you a picture and this picture includes some fruits. So what should you say here? I can see or uh, some fruits are shown or are seen in this picture. In this way, Khalid, you are specific? No. What should you describe? Imagine I give you a picture uh, containing bananas, apples, carrots, for example. Okay, so this way you should name the pictures, name the, the, the specific kinds of fruits. So bananas, carrots, okay, oranges, and so on. Okay, like here, uh, as we have seen in our reading practice in, in at the beginning of this unit, in the, 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 the article covering the villages in Indonesia, they what? The houses are built from leaves. Leaves here, generic word. To be more specific, you can say are built from palm leaves. Palm leaves are reeds. Don't say are made from plants, manufactured plants, manufactured leaves. Let's be more specific. Okay? To write palm trees or palm leaves. Okay? Does it make sense, yeah, Shabab? This is the first one. Try to yeah. be specific. The second point, Ya Akram, you can use go further by adding appropriate adjectives. Practice ways out of adjectives that have served them. Is other to use two or three adjectives for one noun? Yes, it makes sense. For example, long, wavy palm leaves. Add the main noun, palm leaves. Ah, add the main noun, yes, sir. Kitabli, long, wavy, or thick, tough reeds. Ah, the main noun, reeds. Ragil kitabli, thick, tough reeds. So in this way, you write more adjectives to give more details, and in this way, you can encourage the reader to your writing to imagine, to, to use his mind, use his imagination. The last point, Yeshua, you can use senses, like sight, sound, taste, touch, and the smell. Okay? For example, here, no need, as I told you, no need to use all of them, but keep them in mind when you describe in places. For example, Akram, can you read this, please? Read this far, uh, uh, this short paragraph. I caught the enticing aroma smell mm -hmm. of a barbecue. I swirled around with the cold sand of the golden side. Yes. So here, enticing aroma. So this one, the enticing here, related to smell. The smell of barbecue. I strolled alone, cool, soft. So a cool, soft here related to touch. The golden beach. Golden beach related to the sight. You can see the sand. Okay, Shabab. So is it clear now? 
what should you cover in your description? Okay. Yeah. Am I? Right. Write sentences to these questions. Write answers to these questions. Copy complete these sentences using appropriate adjectives to fill the gaps. Look at the pictures and try to use adjectives to fill the gaps. I give you two minutes to finish. Ready, Shabab? Yes. Yeah, go ahead, please. Let me know once you finish, please. I finished. Okay, Akram. Not yet. I finished. Okay. Yes. Start help, please. Read your sentences. Enjoy a short walk along the mm -hmm. golden path between the tall trees. Just one adjective uh, for each now. Right, okay, no problem. Yes, what about B? Or I can say in the last one, the long wavy trees. Yes, okay. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, the large ship moves steadily between the between between the large 
white icebergs. Okay, makes sense. Hey, Bakram. So, uh, from feeling beautiful rope alone with the white path between the huge palming trees. Okay. B. The, the human, the human strip. And to do it steadily between the, I do, I'm not sure, I didn't find the uh, adjective for this one. Okay. I think it did, it did the Yes, Yes, uh, you're right. Yes, yes, you are right. Okay, and also I give you here some, some, uh, more adjectives to describe here. Can you see my screen? Yeah. What can you see? Can you see uh, this one, the last paragraph on the right? Yes. Type enjoy. Enjoy. Huh? A cool evening walk. A cool evening walk. A long. Huh? The winding dusty path. Winding dusty path. Between huh, the dense pine trees. The, the, the next one, the heavy wooden ship moved steadily between the huge listening iceberg. Listening means shiny. Okay, so here you can add, as you see, more adjectives. In this way, you can reflect the senses, like cool, your touch, evening, see or sight, winding, again, you can see or touch or uh, 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 feel dusty, you can see. Does it make sense? Okay, Shabab? Yeah. Right. What about the second picture? Here you have Imagine you have, uh, you were asking to describe uh, the picture as you see, a lion is sleeping. If I ask you, list any sensory words or phrases for each of the following, a lion is sleeping. If you describe this picture, the li a lion is sleeping. What phrases or adjectives you can use to describe the senses? Like what? Or a jewelry box or onions cooking on a market stall. Huh. I can say long, maybe hair or tail. Okay. A long, a long uh, yellowish tail. Good. Let's say on the ground. Scrub is appearance. Yes. What was okay. the other picture? Yes, the other pictures here, uh, a jewelry box. Sandum Jawharat. I can see a, a huge wooden box. Okay. Yes. And what I about can see for the jewelry, the sparkling. Perfect. Uh, yes. Jewelry. Sparkling. Uh, yes. mm -hmm. You can also inside it uh, describe the inside of the box. Okay. For yes. example, yes, here you can say a thin sound of music fills the air when you open the lid. 
you can see it. No. Okay. Stop, stop sharing this. Here, yeah, Khalid. The first one. Yes, please. As you mentioned, a lion is sleeping. Here, you can say, its tail switches back and the fourth each time. A fly approaches. Any fly approaches the lion, he can back and the fourth. يعني رايح جاي رايح يعني his tail وكذا رايح جاي. Also, you can say soft sound of snoring. As you know, the lion like cat. لما الغطة تكون نايمة بتسمع شو صوت snoring. Or you can say the hot dusty pelt of the lion gives off heat. So in this way, you are using senses adjectives. Okay, another one. Here you are, another one about the box of jewelry. Can you read the description, please? The, uh, the adjectives you can use. First. Yes, please. Uh, about the line I wrote, gold toned line with golden food. Uh, I wrote about the jewelry box, mm -hmm. the fancy exquisite box that contains okay. sparkling and glittering diamonds. Perfect, mashallah, so, perfect. Uh, there is an eye tearing aroma mm -hmm. is the, from the store with the raising. Right. Okay. okay. Yes, wonderful. Yes. Great, Yeshiva. So, Akram, are you done? Yeah. Okay. Here, uh, 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 in addition to what you have mentioned, can you please read this describing the jewelry box? Yeah. I, th I think Sound of Music. Fills the air when you open the lid. Okay. The lid of the box is smooth and shiny. Okay. The inside of the box is lined with soft, dark red velvet. The thing okay. that must sparkle when the sun catches them. Yes, when the the sun catches them. Perfect. Here I see you 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 already used those words here from especially sparkle. Right. What about the, the the last one? About here, yeah, the sound. Sound. onions cooking on a market store. So the huh, sizzling sound of the onions cooking, a sweet caramel smell. Sweet caramel. Okay. It comes off the onions, the onions turn golden brown. Exactly, cold. yes. Turn golden brown a day. So in this way, Ishbab, please, in your description, focus on the adjectives to reflect the, the senses, uh, especially hearing, tasting, uh, touching, and so on. Okay, so now let's go to the next page, developing your skills. Please move to page 69 here. Also, we have another Yeshabab, another way to describe. You can use uh, uh, imagery. Is to use imagery, word picture, often created by similes and metaphors. As we call in Arabic, okay? A simile is when you compare one thing to another using like as, for example, the old lion looked like a tattoo old sand under the tree. So here, like Yeshabab, you are comparing the old lion to the tattoo old sand. Okay? Another one, a metaphor. How we use metaphors? So is a comparison that is stronger than simile in which you say one thing is another. For example, the sea is a gradient monster. There is uh, no share screen. So again? There is no share screen. Okay. Again, please. 
Niye? This one is about. Here are two examples, one for simile and another one for metaphor. For simile, you can use as like. For metaphor, here the sea is a greedy monster. Okay, gobbling up the sand. So in this way, you are uh, you are uh, uh, compare the sea to the to an animal, a greedy monster. Okay, but in fact, the sea is not an animal. Does it make sense? So try to use, if you can, if you can use uh, a simile or an, uh, a metaphor in your description. Now, Yeshua, here, read this, Yeshua, please. Extend your skills. Khaled, can you read it, please? Okay. You must, you must write detailed sentences. Write them, please. Please read them. You also need to make sure you describe your description and write full, full details and it's not a list of short connected ideas. But again, at the work we did on page 60 and 61 on positions and adverbials. What of this will help you to add detail to what you write? Yes, exactly. As we explained in our previous lessons, adverbial, uh, uh, fronted adverbials, use them using prepositions to help you write more detailed sentences. Right? Okay, so here we have two uh, uh, sentences. Please copy and complete this simile and the metaphor descriptions. The thin man towered over us like a, the wind is an, or a, swooping through the valleys, the moon shone bright like a. So can you please try to, com to complete the filling gaps by writing uh, uh, simile and metaphor? We will create them. So. Again, please, Akram. We will create the simile for this. We will if use. you can. Yes, if you can. To make it more easy for you, Ishmael, here to be more to be more familiar with simile and the metaphor. Please look at this. Can you see my screen? The first one. Here. Write the simile that is in the sentence. A, sentence A. As a bear. So that was hungry as a bear. So in this way, you are comparing your dad to a bear, a hungry bear. Okay? Another one. Huh? My mother turned it as white as a sheet when she heard about the accident. So what is the simile here, Ya, ya Khalid? Huh? You, com you compare your mother to a white sheet. Okay? Right. After the argument, she was ice cold towards me. Hmm. What's that, the, the, the simile here? Uh, ice, ice, exactly, ice cold. Yeah, like uh, she was cold, like the ice cream. 
Although my uncle is very kind, he's a tough as nails. So he now compared nails. Okay. Right. Now use the adjectives in the box as full, as sweet, as black, as white, as strong. And try to complete the sentence, please. Yes, go ahead. You have one one minute. Here is have extra practice to how to structure simile or Ready? Yes. Thank you. Yalla, Khalid. My little sister is? As sweet. Yes, so as sweet as sugar. So, mm. Khalid B, yeah, Akram B, I was? I was, I was as white as a mouse in the library. So okay. exactly. So I was quite as a mouse. Right. The C today feels huh? very as good as the rest. Exactly. The light one or D, he can carry huge weights. His he is as strong. Yes, as an ox. Okay, so the night sky looked as black. as black. Is it clear now how to write simile, Shabab? You can use as or like and use the right adjective. Okay. Right. Yeah. Any questions? Thank you. Yes, let's move to the next one. Did you complete this? Who can answer the first one? Which one? A. You couldn't see the share screen now. Here. This one, Yeshiba. I told you to complete it. The thin man towered over us like a. I can. Uh, huh? as, a, as a tall, wavy flag. Maybe. Or as a skyscraper. Uh, huh? As like a tool, you can say tool. Let me write it for you. Tool, sky, scrappers. As a tool, sky, scrapper. Right? Right. The next one. Hmm. The wind is. You can use a or a. Can I see? Yes. Okay. Thief? Like thief. Yes. No. So the wind is an invisible force uh, swooping through the valleys. Invisible force. Okay, the next one. Like a shiny flashlight. Okay. Yes. Like flashlight, or you can say silver. Here, sil a silver bone. So the moon shone brightly like a silver bone. Okay. Now, this is for you. Identify the prepositions and the fronted adverbials in the following paragraph. Read this and let me know what are the adverbial or fronted adverbials and the prepositions. Yalla Shiva. After this task, you should start writing your own description.
I actually for uh, like uh, mm -hmm. adverbial from adverbials. Yes, the mm -hmm. first one. Yes. Huh. Yes. Under the ice water, can you complete the acronym? Every day. Exactly every day. Above yeah. the surface. Perfect. Above the surface. Okay, okay Khalid, do you agree with Akram? Yes. So here we have three fronted adverbials. Okay, as you see here after fronted adverbials, you must use come. Now, what about prepositions here, Khalid? Huh? The first one here, as you see, on. On the seabed. On. Yes. Huh? Driving through. In. On the. Yes, in, in the sand. Okay. Uh, you... On the mouth, I think. Can I choose it also? Yes, but we used it, already used it in, in uh, adverbial or front adverbials. Right? Yes. Okay, using yes. the prepositions in this way, you show the, the, the position, show the relation between objects. So to deliver, yes, about, uh, uh, detailed description, you should use number one, front adverbials, number two, you should use prepositions. Okay, in this way, you can help the, the, the examiner or any reader to imagine your description. Now, look at this picture. Write a paragraph of three sentences describing what you can see. Look, imagine in writing task one, you were given this picture. And you should write from 40 to 50 words about this picture. Please read the, 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 the prompts. Read the prompts before we start. Number one, can you read the instructions, Ya Khalid, Ya Akram? Step one. Start with the sentence describing the whole scene. Exactly. So it should give me generic sentence to show what you can see. Describing the whole scene. خلي بالكم كلمة whole scene. يعني المشهد بشكل عام. وبعدين step two. Then add a second sentence which focuses on one detail. One detail, one detail, bas. One detail, the matafana, you can add something related to uh, uh, the setting. Okay, what you can see, something related to your senses. And, and one final sentence, perhaps starting with an adverbial that describes something else. And use senses, okay. and if you can, at least one simile or a metaphor. Can you give an example for uh, the first sentence? Yes, what does? Yes, the first one, Ya Akram. Describe the location. This picture, about what? Here. It's a temple, so you can see here, the beautiful temple stands alone on a small landscape island. Means what? This picture shows a temple. Okay, this is the whole scene. Okay. After that, you can describe what does the water on the lake look like. You can the, describe the water. Also for Maya, what does the water look like? Okay. Also, you can compare it to anything. For example, the water on the lake is like a sheet of glass. Mathran yani. In this way, you are using a simile, describing the water. If the water in the lake, or the water on the lake, is like a sheet of glass. Also, you can describe the location of the temple in relation to the lake. For example, you can say the temple stands on a small island. In the center of the lake. Again, you can say this way, use prepositions, as I told you, 
the temple stands on a small island in the center of the lake. Okay, so in this way you are huh, giving description to the position or the location of the temple. Also, you can describe the clouds. Look like, describe the clouds. Okay, you can say and to compare them to anything. The white clouds are like soft threads of cotton. Again, you can say that the clouds are uh, uh, here, the white clouds are like soft threads of cotton wool. Yeah, the clouds be will open the cotton wool. Okay. Okay, Shiba. And you can say what is surrounding the lake. What is surrounding the lake? A lake dim hot of a. For example, you can say a thick green forest mother of trees surrounded the lake. Even though the lake is surrounded by thick and the long trees, Matran. Okay. What is the white line across the sky? Also, you can describe what is huh, the white line along the sky. What can you see in the sky? For example, huh, a passing plane leaves a trail of white thread like a washing line across the sky. يعني تحس إن في طيارة ماشية في السماء سيبا فيها سحابة من الدخان. For example. So in this way you are describing uh, 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 the generic picture using senses, using what you can see, uh, what is the relation between the temple and the lake, what is the location, uh, what can you see in the sky, describe the water, and so on. Need for you, Ashaba? Yeah. Right. Now, can you start writing? You should finish this in 10 minutes. So, write uh, uh, minimum three sentences, maximum 50 words, and from 40 to 50 words to describe what can you see. Please let me know once you finish. I will go to code. Yes, quickly, please. Yes. Yes, go ahead, Akram, please. Please read what you have written. Okay. The view of, of the ancient temple in a cold, refreshing day surrounded with, uh, with bushes, flowers, and trees can be an exquisite scenery. Moreover, the crystal clear and the crystal cream lake that its water act as a thin sheet of glass give a heartwarming impression to, to the place. In addition, a temp the temple design of descending floors in the way down make it look like a huge pyramid. Perfect. With ancient Asian design of slanting, of slanting groups. Let me clap for you. Wonderful, Akram. You actually you wrote uh, a lot of adjectives showing senses. Use simile or two similes. This is great. I think and I overdo it, it. Yes, yes. Just the, check the word number or the word count. This is really important. It's probably more than 40. Yeah, from 40 to 50 makes sense. No problem. More than 50, you need to uh, delete some, uh, some yes, some details, okay? So is it okay that I overuse the adjectives like this? Yes, I... okay. Yeah. Yeah. But generally speaking, use maximum two or three adjectives, no more than this. In One, two, sentence. three, in, 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 in front of the noun, oh. you know? In front of the noun, you should use uh, two or three uh, maximum adjectives. 
Excellent, Akram. Well done. Perfect. Taib Khalid, read your writing, please. And after you finish, minute, please. please send it to WhatsApp. Can you give me a minute? Yes, go ahead, Khalid. Yes. Please, Akram, scan your writing and send to WhatsApp group, please. Okay, after the class, I will do it. Yes, perfect. Yalla, ya Khalid, start, please. Okay, I can start now. Yes, read, please. The triangular colorful template is reflected by a large shiny river surrounding it to give okay. a smooth reflected image. A connected group of large green bushes are situated around situated around the template. In addition to to in addition to the yellowish flowers. The descending layers of bricks above each other give okay. an amazing triangular shape of the thing. Okay. Yes, well done, Khalid. Excellent. Uh, actually, this is really good writing, good description. And also, I think you you made that the word limit. I think maximum 50 or four, from 40 to 50 words. Excellent, Yeshiba. Here... Yes. Uh, check here. This is sample answer to the the uh, this description here. Akram, can you read it, please? The beautiful temple stands alone on a simple on a small landscaped island surrounded by the full waters of lake. Mm -hmm. It is a magnificent still day. With, uh, with not a breath of wind, and the lake water stretches into the distance like a sheet of glass. Mm -hmm. As I gaze out at this amazing scene, I feel a great, a great sense of calmness over me. Yes. So, actually, you, uh, especially Akram, you wrote much better than this simple answer. Here, as you see, a beautiful temple. Here, beautiful before temple. Focus on the adjectives, Yeshiba. Small, landscaped island, surrounded by the peaceful waters of a lake, magnificent, still day, with not a breath of wind. Lake water stretches into the distance, like here, like he uses what a simile, a sheet of glass. As I gaze out at this amazing scene, I feel great sense of calm wash over me. So, as you see here, the writer uses several adjectives and using uh, uh, fronted adverbials, he also uses a symbol, as we have mentioned. Okay, so what did you study tonight, Yeshabar, by the end of our lesson? What did you study? Is it clear now? How can you outline your description? What are the main prompts yeah. that you need to consider? Like what, Yakram? Can you please recap? Be specific. Yes. Use much adjectives. Exactly. To three and and finally use the like. Uh, imagine you open the place and describe what you will feel, what you will taste, what you will see, what you will hear, what you see. Yes, so if you can. Not, no need to include all of them, but minimum, 
minimum two or three maximum. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks. This is the end of you unit. Uh, unit five? Yeah, unit five, inshallah, in our next lesson, we should start with the speaking as usual, then start reading. So we can focus on two main skills, inshallah, in unit five. We can finish it in two or three lessons maximum. Thank you again. Stay safe. Take care. Okay. Let's meet tomorrow, inshallah. Thank Sorry. you.